In this video, I'm going to show you the best animations you can use on your Framer websites or landing pages. And we, we're going to avoid those fancy, flashy animations. We just want micro interactions, micro animations that will help your visitors scroll your page. Like the goal of those animations is basically to reduce bounce rate, to keep your user engaged. And this is what we're going to do. So new setup by the way just let me know if you like it better you don't want to see my face <laughs> just trying to uh, make things different okay so for example this is my template how do i add animations and what are those animations you see those, those small animations like now it's lagging because i'm sharing screen at the same time but if we you visit this page you'll see that i only have an animation for like the first part here the hero section and this animation is basically appear and that's it for the first section like when the page is loading we can do those animations to you know just set the tone one after the other so what i did is i came here to effect and clicked on the new let me just go here and do it click on plus click on appear Okay, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so trigger on appear. Then the, the preset is custom. I'm going to show you what is the preset. So basically, you start at opacity zero. And then the offset is 30 on the Y axis. And what, what that does is just bring your nav bar 30 pixels to the bottom. So when it appears, it's starting from the bottom, going to the top at its initial position from 0% opacity to 1 and that will help you do this particular animation now moving on for the second portion so the container here same thing basically but with a slight difference okay so 20 on the y axis and then we do a delay of 0 0.5 seconds so that's half a second and the animation lasts 0 0.3 seconds so if we do now again you like you see what is happening like it's it's actually <laughs> kind of not the right way let me just see what i did here so yeah the nav bar is coming after the uh the hero container because the delay is 0 0.9 and this one is 0 0.3 so we see here 0 9, and then you have the nav bar we can do here the same thing so basically this you can just come here copy then come back here go to effect and then yeah we have already the effect so i'm just going to delete it to show you click on past so right click then click on paste then we're going to effect 30 on the y-axis and then the transition is is in is in and then we can you can add 1.2 delay so now if we play we have the hero container the nav bar and then this one and so you can do kind of the same thing for this one past so past and then I'm going to just add a small delay here to 1.4. Okay, so now what we have is hit this. It's kind of shitty right now, honestly. Okay, yeah. Now it's good. Uh, and you do the same thing for everything here. But now that we already loaded the first portion of the website so everything that we see uh on first load so the first hero section okay if we actually publish the website and we go here okay we see what is happening okay now those here we want to make them appear on scroll so what we're going to do is come back here click on this and then we are we are going to show them on scroll so scroll animation 
that will appear on the middle and then enter position so enter zero and then on the x axis let me just put in here so yeah minus 40 and then this one copy paste we are going to do the opposite so that will be 40 pixels from here zero zero so now if we try this and you see okay, so you see the animation one coming from here the other one from here and then bring bringing them together and then for the blog you can just now do basically the same thing here it's just bold okay so here you can do the same thing either one after the other or just directly one of them and that will be you no know, not up here that will be scroll animation layer in view in the middle then fade in i'm just gonna do that like this okay so minus 30 then if we preview So you see it appears right on top when we come to the layer and that's basically it like this is the type of animation that i use one is appear the second one is scroll animation so there's more complex animation to it but those are more likely to help your user not bounce instead of like slowing down your website whatsoever uh, framer has a lot of a lot of great tutorials on those animations but i make sure to bring them to you in a different um, i'd say context to help you master animations and implement them in your website so this is it for this video if you have any questions put them down in the description and i'll film a video just like this to answer it